Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another Assassin's Creed Rebellion video, and today it finally happened. Malik got a T5 weapon. Now, he's one of my favourite heroes in the game. I think I have a little thing for epics, because Apollodorus is my favourite hero in the game. But for an epic, and for someone with one arm, and who hasn't had a T5 weapon, he's still pretty damn decent. But today, we finally get to take him out with a T5 weapon. So absolutely buzzing for this. On a side note, it has just been over three years that I released my first proper video on Assassin's Creed Rebellion. So three years of making Assassin's Creed Rebellion content. And to celebrate this, one of my amazing, talented subscribers, uh, Gen Genajam, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, made this. Look at that. Absolutely phenomenal. You've got Jacob and Evie, my British friends, chilling with me. Gershon the King trying to attempt a leap of faith and obviously Alexis that basically carried me through my whole account really sitting there perched on top of my head I've got me Samson phone in my hand I've got me outfit that is actually hanging up there you can probably just see a little bit of it you can't because my hand's in the way no not my hand the picture's in the way but once the picture's gone you can see it a little bit obviously I wore it in a couple of videos and a couple of giveaways so it, the detail is phenomenal and yeah, just check them out on Instagram, gemajam underscore art, for just more phenomenal pictures. So thank you again, it's absolutely amazing. Right, so let's get into Malik. Now, T5 weapon, so good getting rid of these double blades. Here we go. So right, let's have a little look at the weapon first. So it's got an ability, so it gives us an extra field medic, combat medic, field doctor or first aid. So, obviously increases another tick of our healing, so it just means that Malik can now heal a little bit more if you take him into a mission. Uh, oh, there you go. Freaked out a little bit there. Right, there we go. Right. So, Hidden Blade. Damage massively, massively, massively changed. It was, I think, something like 75 to 105. It's now, obviously, 395 to uh, 515. So, a massive, massive increase. Weapon speed is decent, attack, health, uh, defense, all plus 20, crit chance plus 5%, crit bonus plus 20, so that's nice if you're quickly doing a nice bit of damage. 8% increase on your dodge, which is amazing because it aligns so well with one of his abilities. Lethality plus 30, um, plus uh, 10 dexterity, and a 5% miss chance. A little bit gutted not to see anything about agility in here because his agility is fairly decent for an epic who's got one arm. So it doesn't actually increase that, which is a bit of a shame because <coughs> he has got the free runner ability. Right, let's just select this. Right, there we go. Right, so we're taking him, Apollodorus and Leonardo in just for a little bit of fun, just to see what he can do. Um... Yeah, just buzzing for this. I've been waiting for this for so, so, so long. Um, right, yeah, I'm just excited. It's actually been really nice to actually have something come to the game that I'm, I am I was so happy about. So, right, let's skip this and let's get into it. Right, with this exact same team, with the Tier 4 weapon, that was an 86% chance. It's now a 91% chance. As you can see, we've got an extra uh, heal charge here as well, which is absolutely awesome. <clears throat> right, we're going to hit him and just see how much damage we do. Right, so that damage has gone up by 200, um, 200 per hit. So not amazing, but it, it does add up and it does make a difference. If we look at his stats, 15, 26% um, chance to dodge. Just, sorry, twenty yeah, 26% chance to dodge. And it works really well with this knee um, combo ability. So if I keep that, so basically you strike an enemy and it basically increases their miss chance by 60%. So with this and the dodge, you're more than likely going to be dodging or they're missing. So you're just not taking hits. Let me put the game sound back on there. We're not actually at a screen whirring. So right, let's get the knee combo off. Decent, decent damage. 1,200 damage overall. He's now missing. We've dodged that. We're doing roughly just over a thousand damage a hit. He's just missing all over the place. I mean, his damage output isn't great. I've not elite trained his um attack. Get the knee combo off, he's missing again. And there you go. He's done, he's dusted, he's in the bin. Right, we've got to look at this. 95% chance to assassinate. It'd be rude not to. 
Mr. one arm man, just about to absolutely rip it up. Boom, right, he's annihilated him. And then we might as well annihilate him and get into a fight in a little bit more. So look, reliable lethality checks. No elite training in it either. So you can obviously increase this. Agility suffers massively for this. Um, well, I'm going to heal him with this just to see like if we fail this we're going to get ambushed we're going to be bleeding it's not going to be a fun time he's done it he's done it he knew i was doing this video he knew i was doing it and was like that's it i'm doing it for you charlie so right 63 percent chance navigation i wish that the um weapon increased this but obviously you can't have everything i suppose the fatality check again, 91%, not to be grumbled at. Bit of elite training, that gets up to 95%. Get the knee combo off, we crit there. Look at that, so we did, what was that? 2,300 damage with that one hit. And he's missing, we're dodging. And he's just such a fun hero to play. It is absolutely amazing. Uh, someone in my disc, refresh this, he's dead. He's dead, he's done. See you later. Uh, someone in my disc called... Um, Took him into story 28 and did the lot tried doing the last room of tornado and actually got him down to just under two or about 2000 health so that's not bad that's not bad at all right we we'll assassinate this fella because this is going to be a very bad time if we fail this right he's done that right let's get this off should be faster no we're not i hate sword enemies right but look at this damage look at this dodging look at it it's just phenomenal he's such a fun hero to play like taking him into the campaigns was awesome um he just didn't have the damage output and once that ability fell off and he was getting hit it was it was a bit of a rough time um right i'm gonna give him uh is that that's inspiration in it yeah all right so we'll give him inspiration so if worst case happens he does die he, he gets a second wind we can take him through We'll fail this. Yeah, I, I didn't expect to, but it doesn't ring the alarm. Only an 85% chance here, but we'll just knee combo him. He's got... A, he, we're going to do less damage. He's tanky, but he's going to be hitting less because, obviously, he's so slow. And we're so fast. There you go. Like, when this knee combo has been active, I don't actually think we've taken... Well, just as I say that, we take an absolute thumping. But... He's getting him down. He's doing the job. Look at this. Oh, he's dodging. Get the knee co combo off again. He's done. He's in the bin. All these bloody traps. Absolutely everywhere. I knew I should have brought a free runner in with me. I knew I should have. Um, right, so let's... Uh, what should we do? Uh, let's just use this one for a minute. Uh, right, let's, let's just bring Leonardo in. Oh, we can disarm that. Right. <clears throat> unnecessary damage sorted thank you leonardo da vinci right we're going to take on these now double fight we're going to see how it goes apologies if my throat's going a bit thingy um it's that time of year isn't it hay fever and yeah it's been killing me a bit today look at these misses right the knee combos just fell off we get it back up and he's dodged this is phenomenal could you imagine if he got healing off of a dodge <sighs> That'd be some good times. Right, get this in. That obviously drops. That's a bit of a shame. Shouldn't have used that there. Rookie mistake. Should have used it here. <clears throat> so this is going to... Um, we're going to have to pull through this. Hopefully we get a little bit of a lucky dodge. I mean, his defense and that isn't too bad. He's only taken 180, 150 damage a hit. Not too shabby, in all fairness, for an assassin. Um... But you can see the difference. We get that knee combo up, and it is absolutely phenomenal. Right, let's um, combat medic him. Uh, this doesn't heal again, does it? Uh, where's combat medic? Is that it? Uh, where is it? No, right, this just does it once. We'll do it here. We've got Leonardo da Vinci where if things go worse. Right, what we're going to do is, for a bit of fun, a Polydorus here can increase our crit and our lethality. And in this room, there was someone to to assassinate there you go look at that 95 percent chance get in the bin and then hopefully we'll be critting like a madman here there you go look at that crit straight off the bat critting everywhere look at that it's just so fun so fun to play phenomenal hero i mean this is an epic he's had zero elite training zero 
Right, let's um let's give Malik that again. Right, let's take him in. Uh we should have probably healed him, but I don't think it'll matter. We'll get the knee combo off. We're critting again because of Apodidorus. We have got increased health because of Apodidorus as well. That's why he's my favourite hero in the game. And in all fairness, we just we're just chilling. We're just taking people out. This is just so much fun. Oh, look at that dodge. Look at that dodge. Boom. Done. Just critting all over the place. Uh, I mean, he can't die. It, it, we're going to smash this fella. It don't matter. He's in the bin. It's the knee combo to the face. Always lead with that. Misses all over the place. He don't know, he don't know what he's doing. He's like, I, I can't hit this fella. He's, there's like eight of him. I can't seem to hit him. And boom. He's even missed with um, the knee combo finishing off. Just took him out without even taking a single hit. So, oh, you know what? I just wish there was content I could take him into. I really do. I really hope they just release a new campaign or something. I mean, at least when he's a sync bonus hero for a Helix Rift event, going to be very fun to use. Um, can't wait. Can't wait. So, yeah. I hope you enjoyed the video, Assassins. You take care. I'll see you in the next video. Stay safe. Look after yourself. And I'll see you soon. Take care.